Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be walking you through four ideas of how you can use your scrap wood to create really cool projects that can be done in an afternoon. The only money I spent on any of these projects was $5 for a roll of twine, otherwise there was no additional cost. Whenever I'm working on a project, I always keep my scrap wood, not only because it can be helpful when building something out in the future, but also because you can use that wood to create cool little projects or small gifts for people. For this first project, I will be making a hanging plant propagator. I started with some scrap board of poplar that I had and I cut it in half lengthwise, then cut those pieces in half. I took the two best pieces and marked where I would be drilling holes for little glass vials I had sitting around, making sure they'd be spaced out. You can use different glass containers as long as the glass has a lip larger than the body of the container and of course you'll have to adjust the size of the board you start with to accommodate whatever you use. I carefully measured the vial to make sure that the hole I created would be big enough to fit the body but small enough that the lip would catch. A one inch spade bit attached to my drill ended up being perfect. Once all the holes were drilled, I sanded down the piece to smooth out the surface. Next, I pulled out my twine and used a larger drill bit, roughly the circumference of my twine, to create holes on either sides of both boards. If you're struggling to get the rope or twine through, put a piece of tape on the end of it and it will help make it easier to weave through the holes. Once that was done, I knotted the twine behind each of the boards to stop them from sliding down and checked to make sure that the length in both the boards was even. When you're done with that, you can either finish the wood or hang it up straight away in an indirect sunny spot in your house. I would suggest finishing the wood on this piece as you're likely to get some water on it between refills, but just depends how confident you are with your pouring skills. Next up, I'll be making a really simple phone holder and charging station. These really come in handy if you need to have your phone propped up for a recipe while cooking, FaceTiming someone, or even watching a YouTube video. I used what I believe is pine from an old winery box to create this phone holder. Depending what phone you have, the size will differ slightly, but for reference, I have an iPhone 13 Pro, and here you can see the measurements for the rectangles and the slots I cut. I used my jigsaw to make all the cuts. Here I'm using my drill to punch out the piece of wood for the slot, but next time I would probably drill a hole first and then jigsaw cut into the hole for a cleaner result. I used a file to clean up the slot and sanded down the whole thing to smooth out the corners and surface. Part of the print that was on the winery box ended up on the pieces, but I actually don't mind them. Honestly, I'm already using it a lot and I might make a few others for around the house. I'm a pretty outdoorsy person and I just love everything to do with mountains, so I decided to make a napkin holder with a mountain range silhouette. I used my square ruler to trace out the peaks of the mountaintop and then cut it out using my jigsaw.
Once I had one side, I placed it on another scrap piece of the wine box and traced out the other side. Using my ruler to go back and make sure the lines were straight before cutting out that side as well. Then I did a good round of sanding to take off all the excess material and pencil marks off. I cut out a piece for the bottom and then glued it on using some tight bond wood glue. My husband was using all of our clamps on another project while I was doing this, so I ended up just placing some other scrap pieces of wood to hold the sides in place and stack some cases on it while it dried. Sometimes you have to get creative when you don't have the right tool available and another great use for scrap wood. I sanded down the corners of the bottom piece to align with the angles of the sides and here's the final result. Last up, I'm making a small jewelry box or box to store small items. I cut four equal size rectangles out of the extra poplar board scrap I still had. I placed them together in a little box, gluing the pieces together with some tight bond wood glue. A little trick I sometimes use is drawing a little X with my pencil to remember which side to place the glue on. I find these mini projects, like building a simple jewelry box, very satisfying because you can finish it within a day and sometimes it's nice to get those small wins in between bigger projects that require a little more patience. Once the sides of the box had dried, I cut out a bottom for it and glued the sides onto the bottom before clamping it together and letting it dry. While that was drying, I cut out another piece for the top and found a tiny little scrap piece that I thought would make a nice little handle. Once the lid and bottom were completely dry, I sanded them down to remove any rough edges. I thought this would actually look nice painted, so I went ahead and used some acrylic paint to give it a fun look. I think I'm gonna gift this cute little jewelry box to my sister. I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any feedback or if you'd like to see other videos like this. If you're up for more challenging DIY style projects, I'll attach links above. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.